Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, who you might be dealing with, and what can you expect next. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. Sometimes those messages can resonate more than your sun sign. So let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Spirit, angels, guide, messages, please. For Sagittarius. What's going on right now between you and another person? The tower, okay. Ace of swords, wow, okay. And the knight of wands. A lot going on. <laughs> A lot going on right now. Wow, starting off with the tower. Okay, who you might be dealing with here? Five of pentacles, the high priestess, and temperance. There you are, Sagittarius. I feel like they're not doing so well. <laughs> I feel like this person, um, when I see all these energies, is like they're trying to find a way out of the way that they're currently feeling or trying to improve their situation right now. Um, okay, where is all of this headed? Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, okay. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, I feel like there's a lot going on still with the Ten of Wands here. And with the Seven of Pentacles, there's like an uncertainty about the future. I feel like this Nine of Pentacles, when I see this energy, I think of someone like... It's like someone that's thinking about what their future should be or could be i'm not getting like security from this card it could even be that someone is um thinking of you as a nine of pentacles someone secure successful okay let's get some insight on these energies between you tell me about the energies between Sagittarius and this other person. Yeah, every time I see this Nine of Pentacles, it's like, what do I need to do? Cold shoulder, someone's feeling shut out, silence, distance, coldness, that's that Five of Pentacles energy. And what's this? Moving forward, movement, endings, cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is bountiful harvest. So I feel like someone's thinking about the future. Abundance, patience, planting seeds, watching them grow. So let's get some clarity here because this tower is the first card out. Ace of Swords is here. So this could even be like a shocking conversation or a conversation that brings everything kind of down or like is an a, is a momentous event right so let's figure out what's going on first and then we'll dive into this future energy get some future Tell me about this tower. What's going on with this tower for Sagittarius? The world. The Empress and the Eight of Cups. Oh my gosh, something definitely has happened that's I feel is big. 
um, the tower and the world. Wow. So an energy of nothing being the same again. Um, things starting completely over or starting completely new. Um, I feel like this tower is some sort of a departure. Like someone possibly walking away from an empress energy or walking away seeking an empress energy. Tell me about this ace of swords. And again, this could be what's going on in your connection between each other, but it could also be what one or, well, what one of you is dealing outside of the connection. And you're just bringing those energies here. So take it as it resonates. Tell me about this ace of swords. Wow, three of swords. Tell me about this ace of swords, painful conversation. Painful truth. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What's going on here? Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Oh, yeah. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone is having a very difficult conversation. You and your person. Maybe someone wants to improve, work on whatever problem exists because I have some the Eight of Pentacles here. Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords. So someone's really burdened by what's happening. Overwhelmed, anxious, fearful. The Hermit is here, Virgo energy. So it could be that someone has is feeling shut out. So I, I think this might be your person, but this could be you as well. Like you don't really know how to handle what's happening. Maybe you've withdrawn and are just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Wow, Ace of Wands. So I feel like King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like with this Knight of Wands, it's like someone wants to move forward into a new beginning. And it's because of this tower. This tower has changed everything. Um, it's for it's like forcing someone to start this cycle. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Queen of Cups. Seven of Wands. I think this is someone fighting for themselves. Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. Fighting for what is right, fighting for what they believe in. And going after what they want. So this could be you or your person. Nine of Wands, someone that's not giving up. Yeah, okay. So I get the sense that whatever has happened has really rocked someone's world with this tower because a departure has happened because of this tower. And I feel like this there was like a difficult conversation or truth, a painful truth that was discussed. Can I get one more for this Ace of Swords? Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? I don't feel like this Queen of Pentacles is this Nine of Pentacles. I mean, they could be. Maybe there was an existing commitment here. Someone was committed to another person, loyal, gave a lot of themselves this queen of pentacles and the empress are kind of in the same energy and even the queen of swords i mean these are queens that are coming up queen of cups queen of swords queen of pentacles the empress we're just missing the queen of wands um and so i feel like this conversation is serious um it could be about how someone feels towards another person it could be about a third person because i have the three of swords here but the Eight of Pentacles is telling me that it's like someone that wants to work on 
something, make an effort. Um, and this effort is tied to whatever they're telling you. So it's almost like they're explaining what they plan to do or talking about what they're working on, what they're focusing on. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like whatever's happening here, it's like someone wants it to change. And it makes sense because the Knight of Wands is here with the Ace of Wands. So it's like someone wants to move forward into a new beginning, take action that leads to a new beginning, fights for a new beginning. And again, this could be you or the person that you are thinking about or connecting with. So let's jump down to your person. What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Sagittarius? What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Sagittarius? What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Sagittarius? lucky fortunate and blessed so they feel like they need a lucky break or that they're 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 feeling like they are fortunate right now to make something happen confident oh yeah secure and self-assured so this is definitely somebody that feels like they have this under control or could have this under control can make something happen here Maybe that's why temperance is here. Um, this energy of like restoring balance. Tell me about the temperance card. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? The king of pentacles. And then yeah, the star, Aquarius energy. I can fix this. I can heal this. In time, I can fix whatever the problem is. Tell me about the Temperance card. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Someone that's not giving up despite the difficulty and wants to fix things. So this is what I feel your person's energy is saying strongly. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius. Sign is not as important as the energy that I'm picking up here from this person. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. I mean, it's kind of confusing to me that someone can be so self-assured of being able to make this happen while being out in the cold. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. King of Swords, Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. I just need to be honest with Sagittarius and things will work out. This is energy that I'm picking up here. I just need to talk to them. And once I talk to them, everything will be fixed or there will be an understanding. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Your person just, it's like they're thinking, I just need a chance. I just need five minutes with Sagittarius. I just need to talk to them. Show them that I'm, I'm willing to work on this, that I'm willing to fight for us or this new beginning that i want to move past what's happened or i want to move forward with them okay tell me about the ten of wands tell me about the ten of wands Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Yep, the Chariot. Cancer energy. I feel like this is somebody that definitely wants to move past whatever baggage, obstacle, whatever difficulty there exists. Yeah, Six of Swords. Maybe they want to apologize for a departure or just you know, bear their soul and be like, I just want to move past all of this and leave the past in the past. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Nine of Pentacles shows up again. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Page of Wands. I think that this is how they view you. It's like your your prize, something that excites them, motivates them. Strength, flail, energy. But there's 
courage needed? Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. So it's like they're not really sure. They're not really sure about something. Weighing their options. I think what this I think this nine of pentacles is you. And it's like they don't know how you're going to take this. That's where the uncertainty comes from. Your response. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Justice. Hmm. See, when I see these two cards here, Justice and the Four of Wands, this is like structure, stability, harmony. So why is the Seven of Swords here? Right? Unless this is someone's strategy, you know? Or perhaps this person is worried that when they try to bring this, you're only going to see this. Like maybe you don't trust them. Or you're not going to receive them well. Maybe because of what's happened. Yeah, six of swords and the tower. There's a seven of pentacles again. I mean, it's almost like they're thinking, well... This tower was so bad. Is there an opportunity? It's really difficult because I feel like towers are never easy. Sometimes they could be good surprises in a way. Um, a shock that leads to or a surprise that leads to better things to come. Um, which is why this tower is here with the world, you know. But the Eight of Cups is telling me it's like a chapter has closed or will close. And I think it's in the form of, it's, it's almost like information is surrounding this tower. Like this conversation or information or this truth. Can I get some insight please on this future energy? some insight please on the future energies this connection this was a lesson number 43 you get one more think carefully number 25 bottom of the deck release the past Hmm. Number 44. This is very interesting because I feel like someone learned a tough lesson and is thinking carefully about releasing the past or they thought about it so much that it's led to something that's being released. I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is your person, Sagittarius. I feel all you need to know is that someone's doing something about the lesson they've learned. You know, I feel like this is someone that definitely wants to heal, rebalance this situation. Temperance is all about making two very different things blend together in harmony. It's about patience because that takes time to do. And I feel like this person, they're out in the cold, but this is what they're thinking about. Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles talking to Sagittarius, right? Bringing you an offer that might take some time, but it's a stable offer. Moving past what's happened, the chariot. I also wonder if this person thinks that the history, the baggage might be a little too heavy 
to move forward easily, you know, because again, this person, they're having doubts. They're not sure of how you're going to react. Maybe this tower is that someone's telling you they've left a situation. Maybe this tower is someone returning after a departure. I see it all here in the cards. You can interpret it in, in any way. Like in those different scenarios, you can interpret here based on what I see. Because this Knight of Wands wants a new beginning. And I have a feeling it's with the person they love because the Queen of Cups is here. So I cannot ignore all of those things. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.